it's very unusual for me to do a whole album all at once it doesn't happen very often that I will go into a studio and do a set amount of recording for a particular project it's usually um, it's only really the the most recent record that I did with um, with Lawyer Dave and uh, and the album before that which I did as an experiment really in in allowing somebody else to produce it that was done in a set amount of time but previously I it hasn't been that strategic you yeah, know at all mm -hmm. and and then you know if you have if I start out with like five I might have five songs from from various sessions or stuff I've recorded at home and then uh, and then think oh well you know I've got five new songs that fit really nicely with these songs and then that's the most part of an album and then I'll just and that's sometimes the covers um, come because they match you know sometimes I'll add a couple of covers on an album sometimes I don't sometimes I do but um, you know because they they sort of match with the thing the overall thing that I've done you know I think they go quite well together but I do I strive really to not have um, an album that sounds the same track after track after track it's actually that's why they don't sound like that is because they might one track might be recorded in my living room and one track might have been recorded at the studio and you know there'll be might be big spaces between those sessions as well you know so and I think it I think it's really good to uh, to make each track sound like an individual thing on its own you know I, I do strive to do that I do try really hard to make it so that it it doesn't get wearing it's always you know it's always different every time you play it every track comes on and you think oh that doesn't sound like the last one you know talking about tracks if we should if you have you, you have to pick one of your all of your songs that you have done one which you think is sort of representative and uh, if we shall get to know you by just one of your songs which one is that? God um, I don't know I've never been asked that before I think pro possibly uh, I think possibly something from a new album um, any given track from a new album, you know that that came very easily and uh, and without um, and and probably is like a, an accurate representation of what I do when I sit at home and play guitar. You know, I think that's probably everything else that's done in the studio. It, there is an element of treatment on that, you know, so it isn't your natural thing. I think I think probably something. Yeah, something, or perhaps one of the uh, less produced tracks from any of the other albums, because there's quite often just one where it's guitar and vocal or something like that. But I think something like that is is much more representative of what I do at home than than the albums that are produced with tons of backing vocals and. But, but when it comes to lyrics, then Holly, yeah, with okay. two. Uh, oh God. <laughs> um, I think probably there's a song called uh, Nothing You Can Say, which is um, an album, uh, off an album called God Don't Like It, which is quite an old album. I think it's five, six years old now, uh, perhaps even older than that. Um, and I think I wrote that song really, really quickly, and I wrote it for a specific purpose because I had to... It was, some, it was a collaboration. I was doing something with somebody else, so I had a time limit to do it. But I was so happy with the way it came out, and it really was... Uh, it was um, a, a train of consciousness rather than writing a song. You know, it's very, it's it's a very basic song and it doesn't do anything very exciting. But I think lyrically, it's probably, yeah, nothing you can say. I think I'd go for that one. What's the story? What, what do you? Yeah, no story. What do you? That's the point. It's just, uh, it's just, um, it's just a song with two verses and a, and a very catchy chorus. Um, it base, it, it's very loosely based on a on you know sticks and stones can break your bones but words can never hurt you that's uh, that's the you know the premise of the song um and another song actually walk a mile is another song that was again written for a specific purpose but i i only had to i had to do it to a brief there was a there was an idea somebody gave me and uh, and i had to and it was about like you know trying to be somebody else I think probably, you know, <laughs> I think probably lyrically those two are the ones. I, I'm very happy with both the, the, the way that they came out because they were very easy and very um, instant. You know, they were immediate. And I was. It may sound lot, lot like you, sticks and stones. Yeah, of, uh, yeah. It's just you know, I don't, I don't do it for anybody else's benefit but my own, really. 
and I think that's probably representative. Those two songs are, are very... Uh, they're not particularly personal. I mean, you know, I don't write anything that is... I don't write really intimate songs. You know, they're quite often not. Um, but the idea behind them is, is personal. You know, the, the, the idea that I could... It's something I would say in conversation, perhaps, you know. Why don't you... Why don't you write intimate songs? Um... I don't know. I, there's a there's I, I I mean I do I do use I do draw on a lot of personal experiences, but it, but not so as nobody else could sing them. You know, not that they're so personal that nobody else could do a version of that song. Um, I think probably I don't think it's the uh, I don't think it's the forum for for my innermost feelings. I don't think I. I don't feel the need to share that or or project that at all, really. You know, I like music for music's sake, and I and and lyrics are sometimes not the most important part of it. You know, sometimes lyrics are just the sounds of words, like I said. You know, um, sometimes it's uh, yeah. Sometimes it, you know, sometimes it's difficult because it's you do obviously draw on your own experience when you write songs, but. But I think what I try to do is is um, string words together that I like the sound of. I mean, that's you know, it's as simple as that. There's no sort of there's no mystique about it at all. Pe some people write songs for totally different reasons, you know. But the reason I write songs is so that I can make them into music, <laughs> and that people might. You know, people I play with, other musicians I play with, will then put, have their input musically, and and it's to make a sort of a nice thing of of everything put together. So the lyrics aren't always the most important thing, you know. <laughs>